for surviving. This show is, is bigger this year than it was last year. Ang advantage lang namin sa Cebu is that we have the local market of Manila. There are only three international shows. There's the furniture shows, the fame shows, there's one in April and one in October. For designers, for new ideas, this is where they get the new ideas. This is where they sourcing for the new ideas. Same as in, in Cebu X in Cebu. There are designers there, there are designers here sourcing for their projects. The tourism industry under Secretary Durano is booming. But that's the first one that's going to be resilient and come back. Prospects were gloomy, but overall I'm doing well. The boots look nicer. All the exhibitors paid some more attention on making their boots looking nice. And the Philippines have, have uh, different kind of collections uh, than China or Vietnam or India. And you can really see that on the, the efforts they, do, they did on their boots. Good. It's it's not a you know it's not a lot of traffic. There's not a lot of people here. It's the first day, so it's quiet. But uh, the response is good. All the style, all the products are very good. The execution is really very very good. This morning was very busy, so we were happy. Luckily, also some sales. This morning, a lot of people came in. Well, not only from all over the world, but also a lot of Filipinos. Also, they're still very interested to buy. It's pretty impressive. I think the, the show is bigger than it was last year. To really communicate to our local market that we are a significant player in the furniture industry. We want to make an impression also, so we actually sent out 5,000 postcards last week to all our local customers. CFIP agreed to have our customers come in using our postcard as, a, as an invitation, so I think it's a win-win uh, arrangement.